Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So it seems that Jennifer Thompson on December 30th, 2021 at 1026 p.m. she took to her private Facebook account to announce that she and Sugar Bear were actually getting a divorce. So on her Facebook account, she wrote, as this year starts to roll out and another comes in, I just want to say goodbye to 2021. 2021, I'm glad to see you roll out tonight. This year has brought so many ups and downs, but has taught me many lessons in life. First, I just want to say I'm so glad to have the job. Then second, I just want to say I'm truly and grateful that I got to do six seasons on WeTV with some great people, seen many places, done things I thought I would never get to do, and meet some of the most famous people ever. Thanks, WeTV, for a great career in TV. And yes, I am putting it out there because this is the end of the year and a new one starting. Me and Mike have went our different ways. Yes, it's hard, but we will work through it and we will still remain friends. So now when everyone sees us and we're not together, everyone will know what's going on. Just no questions, please. So I'm letting this year go. Please hurry up and roll your butt out for I can have a new year to see what it brings for me. Happy New Year, party hard, and rock in the new one. Love y'all, Jennifer. So, like I said, this was on her more private Facebook account where she made this post. But, of course, news leaked immediately because I think I seen this. Um, I, maybe I seen this, like, the next day, possibly, that a lot of the Mama June fan pages, they were posting this, talking about how she had announced that her and Sugar Bear were not together. Now, she did not post what brought on the split, why her and Sugar Bear are getting a divorce. However, however, um, a lot of fans are speculating. There's a few theories out there for why they may be getting a divorce. One theory is that Sugar Bear cheated. Now, we know that Sugar Bear, he's been known to um, cheat in the past. There's a lot of people saying, look, when you found Sugar Bear, you know, you and him were cheating or he was with someone. You were the other woman. So you lose them how you get them. Like if you get a man because he's cheating on his wife with you, then nine times out of 10, you're going to lose him because he's going to cheat on you with someone else. So there's a lot of people speculating that he cheated on her. Also, there's some people speculating that it's due to her weight loss. I don't think Sugar Bear's ever really denied that he likes bigger women. I think he's actually even stated that he likes bigger women. Actually, I know that he has because when Jennifer decided to get her weight loss surgery, she was nervous to tell Mike because he likes bigger women. Also, during the whole weight loss surgery, that was one of her her um, things that, that worried her. Like, if I lose too much weight, is Mike not going to be attracted to me anymore? So, that's another theory out there that... She had this weight loss surgery. She's getting healthy and she's losing. She lost a lot of weight due to her, you know, her weight loss surgery and then eating right and everything else that took place afterwards. Um, so she looks like a completely different person. Jennifer looks absolutely different from what she looked like when they first started dating. So maybe that has something to do with it that she don't even look like the same person. Her hair is different. Her body is different. Everything as far as, you know, the outside appearance looks different when it comes to Jennifer. So maybe that's a reason for their split as well. Now, if you guys watch Mama June, you guys may recall that there were episodes um, after her weight loss surgery, after she started losing weight, where um, Sugar Bear had to go to the doctor to get injections in his member because he was not able to become aroused when Jennifer would try to get intimate with him. And that may have played a factor as well in the fact that he could not, he could not be intimate with her because it appears that maybe he lost interest and that's why it was affecting his private area and not being able to do what it needed to do so they could do what they needed to do. Or it could have just been, you know, when you get older, sometimes you have, what's it called? ED. <laughs> You have like ED. Maybe it was just something he had no, no control over and that's why it happened. Or maybe it was because he really did not find her attractive anymore because he is attracted to larger women. I don't know, but I do remember that episode and it kind of, 
it kind of stuck out in my memory when I was reading about them separating and getting a divorce. And I was reading everyone's theories of why they thought maybe they were getting a divorce. And I was reading people saying, well, you know, he lost interest in her after she lost all that weight. And then that that episode just kind of jumped into my memory. Like, oh yeah, he even had to go to the doctor to get a shot. Or actually, was it a shot? It was something that he had to do. Uh, so when Jennifer wanted to become intimate with him, he could, he would be able to perform. I don't know, you guys, that's the theories right now is that maybe he cheated or maybe he lost interest altogether due to her weight loss. Now, most of the time when a woman reveals that she's going through a divorce, a lot of people are sympathetic to her. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. This is going to be so tough. If you need anyone, I'm here. But, but a lot of the comments um, are not like that. Now, not on her private account, but in the Mama June fan club pages. A lot of people are happy to see that Jennifer Thompson and Sugar Bear are getting a divorce. There are comments like, oh, thank goodness. Oh, she was a mean witch. She didn't deserve to be on the show anyways. Sugar Bear, you know, didn't need someone like her. Uh, a lot of people pointing out how she treated Alana and Pumpkin as well. A couple seasons back when she tried to get custody of Alana, there were people saying that she was doing that only for the money that would come with it because it would secure her spot on the show with them, you know, constantly filming Honey Boo Boo's life. It would secure that spot for her to be on the show if she had custody of Alana. And then she would probably be the one over like the finances and then she would be making money. She would be over Alana's money. So, you know, in turn, if she got custody of Alana, her and Sugar Bear, they may would have more money and more opportunity to be on TV, stuff like that. So, there's a lot of people that are happy to see that Sugar Bear and Jennifer are getting a divorce because she was mean. I remember, I literally remember, you guys probably go back and um, watch some of my Mama June recaps, where I was not a fan of her either. And I often wondered, is this really who she is? Like, is Jennifer really this butthole who just likes to pop off to young kids and be a turd to people? Or is this a character that she's playing for the show? Like a lot of these shows, while some of it may be a little bit of re reality, a lot of it is scripted as well. They often want a villain. Most reality shows, they want someone that's like the mean person. Is that the, you know, the character that they gave to Jennifer and she's just playing it and everyone kind of knows? Or is this really who she is? Is she really the one you know, that when Pumpkin brings uh, Alana over to see her dad, when she's having a moment with her dad where she's upset, where she like runs them off and she starts talking about Mama June being a crackhead right in front of Mama June's kids. Like, is that who, really who she is? Is she that type of person? Or is she just this character that she's playing? I don't know. I will say though, I will say if this was mainly like a character that she was playing and everyone kind of knew it, I do feel bad because she got a lot of heat. She got a lot of heat. She got a lot of backlash um, during those episodes. I know personally myself, I would do the recaps and I would talk about how mean she was and how I just didn't like it. But I always questioned if it was real. Like I never knew for sure. So I always threw that question out there. Like if this is just a role that she has, then, you know, I hate that she's selling her soul for TV. Um, but I also would hate that she's getting backlash when that's not really who she is and she's looking more of this as looking more of the situation as like, well, this is a job and I got to do this if I want to make the money. So I got to do it. And it's not really who she is. But a lot of people are happy to see that they are getting a divorce. I do wonder what's going on with Sugar Bear. Is he with someone already? Is he single? Um, also, you know, Mama June, I think she's still single. Wouldn't that be so wild if Mama June and Sugar Bear got back together? That would be the wildest, which I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think I could ever see Mama June and Sugar Bear back together because, you know, Mama June don't look nothing like she looked when her and Sugar Bear were together. And I think Mama June is, like, really into those, like, younger TikTok guys. If Mama June gets in a relationship, I really feel like it would be with someone younger than her and that looks, you know, fairly maybe. The, I know a lot of the guys that she's been entertaining on um, on TikTok, they're not bad looking guys. So I really feel like she might find her one out there that's, you know, wanting to be on TV, wanting to be in it for the fame and the recognition and the money. And she may scoop one of those men up. What do you guys think? Are you guys shocked to hear that Jennifer Thompson and Sugar Bear are getting a divorce? What's your theories of why they're getting a divorce? Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, according to her post, it seems like she may be done with the show as well. 
if her and Sugar Bear are not together, really, what role does she have on the show? She really doesn't anymore. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.